Well, we've got a multi-day severe weather threat as a powerful trough swings out of the Rockies and it pushes east. So we're looking at storms Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, maybe even beyond that. So an interesting way to look at things today would be really to uh, t to say, you know, this isn't just going to be, well, I guess, a better way of looking at it. Not necessarily interesting, but it is. Uh, it, this is not just going to be a one and done thing. So be, be ready, a bumpy ride ahead. Here's what we're looking at this afternoon. Strong storms will start to fire up across Texas. We've seen that. Uh, through the day today as this decent jet streak swings through here. We've also got some storms into the northeast, but storms will start to pop, and we're starting to see them across Texas through the afternoon. I don't know when you're watching this, but that's what we're looking like through this evening as this trough kicks to the east. We're starting to see that severe weather threat expand as we head into Sunday, more across the plains again. Let's push this out ahead in time because I want to show you where this is going. Out ahead of this, we've got uh, ample really moisture we've also got some really warm temperatures so that's going to create an unstable environment as we head into monday also into tuesday for areas further to the east and a lot of cold air working in with this and i imagine there's going to be some type of jet streak swinging around this upper low that's spinning back here so with that said determining exactly the coverage of the severe storms is going to be tough until those short range models pick up on exactly where that jet streak will be how strong it will be all of those things are there but I talk about this a lot. You start to see the ingredients, the difluence aloft, and this one looks a little bit further to the south. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Storm Prediction Center looking a little bit further into Mississippi, Alabama, also even into Tennessee in the long range severe weather risk outlook. Here's your day one outlook for what's left of Saturday as you're watching this through Saturday night to early Sunday morning across Texas, the Red River Valley over to Texarkana. This is the highest risk area, but those storms could get strong into Mississippi, even down into uh, parts of South Texas towards the Rio Grande and then north up into Kansas and Oklahoma. Strong thunderstorms possible through the evening. A few tornadoes also possible with some shear that's out there with these storms uh, developing through the afternoon. Now tomorrow, that threat shifts a little bit further to the north. We start to feel the influence of that trough a little bit more. We've got some drier air punching in from the west, so a dry line will develop. The question is how much severe weather will we see break out? Right now, Storm Prediction Center is looking at really the highest risk from north Oklahoma into north Kansas, and also back here into Nebraska. There's going to be a lot of twist in the atmosphere back here, so not just damaging winds, hail, but there's also a bit of a tornado risk further even back to the west into northeast Colorado, also western Nebraska. But the hatched area, the most impressive looking area, is across central Kansas down into north of Oklahoma, and that extends even further to the south with that tornado risk into parts of Texas. Let's continue to move ahead now because this will move east. On Monday now, we're looking at from Missouri, the same areas we just saw severe weather just over the last several days, more on the way. This pushes into, pushes into East Kansas, too. And now we're pushing things even further to the east into Tennessee. This is your day four outlook for Tuesday. And now you're noticing something different here on the Storm Prediction Center outlook. They're highlighting uh, an area of enhanced, I guess, risk across parts of Tennessee, North Alabama, North Mississippi. Let's see how all this plays out. But nonetheless, some severe weather still possible all the way north up to Indianapolis and as far south as Louisiana and then as far east as eastern Tennessee and eastern Kentucky. So that's what we're watching this week. Let's look at the future radar and track the storms that we're, we'll be watching tonight. These storms will continue to fire across Texas, and then everything kind of settles down tonight. Uh, I don't know about Oklahoma, though. Up in here, have a way to get weather alerts tonight. Some of these could pulse up and get really strong. Again, the tornado risk is there. And then once we get toward that 1, 2, 3 a.m. time frame, things do start to calm down some. We see things fire up again on Monday. Now, these early morning storms could get going. They could contain some gusty winds, some hail. Some could get on the severe side. And then this pushes off to the east. And now we're watching the influence of that upper low back across the Rockies start to kick out into the plains Sunday night. These storms across Nebraska, northeast Colorado, also Kansas, could get really intense. Again, some of them could be uh, strong enough that we could see some tornadoes. And then further to the south, I think there's going to be a question of how much coverage we get across Oklahoma and Texas, but still some storms. And then heading into Monday afternoon, this could be an interesting look. So you, you look at everything aloft, you look at the upper level charts, and you start to see how the models are handling things. To me, just, just at the surface, this looks like an, a very rough day. Let's hope it's not as rough as it looks. Okay, let's... Move to the east. We're dealing with some strong storms into the northeast through tonight. Some of these have been really powerful here into the northeast. We've had uh, some severe thunderstorm watches that have been out for some of these areas. Uh, let's go back over here. If you're joining the live channel here, I just want to make sure that I am 
saying this right. Yeah, so yeah, we did. We do have a severe thunderstorm watch at the time of this recording for parts of New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and there's the tornado watches back across Oklahoma uh, and even into parts of Texas with severe thunderstorms. Uh, severe thunderstorm watches further to the south. These storms across the northeast will start to calm down tonight. We, now we're getting kind of chilly heading into Sunday. Cold enough that we're going to start to see the chance for snow heading into Monday. That's uh, pretty interesting to see. A little bit quieter, though, here from the mid-Atlantic back into the Midwest, even into the upper Midwest, much quieter than what we've seen over the last couple of days. And here comes the next system. It's going to start to bring some rain, some thunderstorms back into Missouri, back into Illinois, into Iowa, too, into the Northeast. Look at the snow mixing in here into the Green and White Mountains. Wow, it's cold. That's pretty interesting to see that. And now we're looking at the severe weather heading into t Monday night, into Tuesday, and this will all be interesting to watch. I'll be tracking it over the coming days. This system is starting out west. This is where we're getting snow right now. That's going to pick up heading into Sunday. It could get heavy into the Wasatch. Some winter storm warnings out for the mountains out here. It's no wonder. I mean, you look at this and go, good grief. There's going to be a foot of snow, maybe even more, in some of the mountains here into the northern Rockies. As this really strong May storm kicks east, I think... I think we may see things tick up on the severe side into Monday, maybe even into Tuesday. That's just my gut feeling, and that's based not just on my gut feeling, but again, you start to look at some of these models, you start to look at what's going on with the dynamics, and this is a negatively tilted trough. Okay, so I, I could argue, yeah, maybe even on Monday it's a little has a bit of a negative tilt, but look as we head now into Tuesday, you're really kicking this thing back to the west, and I, you know I just think. This could be maybe a little stronger than uh, what we're looking at right now. Stay weather aware over the next couple of days. Nothing to be, you know, I'm not here to scare you, but certainly want to make sure you're aware of what's coming up and what I'm looking at and what uh, what I think is going to happen. And I think, yeah, it could be on the strong side. All right, let's push things out in ahead in time. A, a nationwide look here. We sort of dug into the regions a little bit. Low pressure. I think maybe one of the, the limiting factors to this severe weather event, maybe why the confidence isn't through the roof, is that as this low moves toward the Great Lakes here, it's not strengthening. Okay, So if you think back to your some of your early spring storms, you'll get your Lisa, I'm backing up by the way, you're starting at a 992 millibar low on Sunday here in West Kansas. And as this low moves north and east, now it's at nine, geez, it almost kind of, you almost lose your surface pressure here. It's, it kind of translates around. Either way, it's filling in. Now you're up to 1,000 millibars. So your low is actually weakening versus deepening. That might be a limiting factor. However, there's still a lot of cold air aloft, and you have a negatively tilted trough. So that is going for the severe weather, unfortunately. All right, rain moves to the east. So do the storms heading into Wednesday, now into Thursday as this low moves off the coast. It's going to try to wrap in some chilly air into the Great Lakes. This could be uh, an interesting end to the week with temperatures way below average across really the upper Midwest into the Great Lakes, maybe into the Northeast, and uh, across the West, temperatures warming up. And I think we get a bit of a break from the severe weather as we see this ridge build out West. Either way, it could be quite active. And I don't know. Someone's asking me if you're joining the live chat, if we could see a moderate risk on Tuesday. I don't know. That's pretty far out at this point. I wouldn't go that far out. I don't even know that I would feel confident clearly putting that out from Monday at this point. So I'm taking a wait and see. If you're new to the channel, I hope you'll consider coming back and subscribing. Uh, if you're an OG, I say it all the time. Thanks for coming back and thanks for uh, for subscribing. I see your chat. Thanks, guys, for coming to the live chat. I appreciate it. If you've missed the live stream, you can always get those notifications. If you just want to catch it when you can, that's the great thing about YouTube, right? You can just... Uh, Check it out when you want. All right. You guys have a great Saturday. I'll see you on Sunday.